guys, order 26 here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Children. Today is gonna be four OU battles. I did this. So let's get started. So I'm, um, um, this guy is. I'm, I'm on the other side, as you can see. So I'm gonna lead off with my Conkeldur. Is he's gonna lead off with his Gliscor? And I'm um, first turn is just gonna be Sub Ice Punch. Sub Ice Punch. So I carry guys punch mainly for Gliscor and OU. So he goes for Tailwind, and I just go for Ice Punch and kill the Gliscor. So then he goes out to Azumarill. I automatically go to Ferrothorn if he counter it pretty good because he can't, can't touch me with much and I can go counter with my Iron Barbs and Rocky Helmet and I can go for Leech Sheet as well. So I think I just go straight for Power Whip this turn. Yeah, I go for Power Whip just to take it out. And I guess it's Beedrill. I was like, can he really touch me? So I just went out and set it up Stealth Rocks. So he switches out into Chandelure. I go for a Leech Seed. Um, and I go to Chansey as he just sets up Combines. I know Flame for still wouldn't do too much to me. Then I just go for Toxic just to get some Poison and Leech Seed damage off. And of course, um, it's uh, Leech Seed's going to recover nothing because I'm a Chansey. So I'm just going to go for Aromatherapy to get rid of my Burn. He's gonna mega evolve his Alakazam. I'm about to. I'm. I'm. I'm he, I was knowing I could live a focus blast if he had it. So he encored. He encored me into aromatherapy. So I was forced to switch out. Not to Ladiates. He went to Psy Shock. If he just go for Dragon Pulse this turn. He encores me, and I go for Dragon Pulse. As. He goes, then he just rushes off the damage. And he gets, I get paralyzed. Came out. He goes, then he just goes out to Garchomp. I don't know why he went out to it. He went to Chandelure. I was like, and I was hoping I could take a Shadow Ball. And go for, I went for Slash Shock just to see if I could take it, take it out. So he, I go right back out to Chansey and I just go for the Soft Boiled, I think. Um, let me switch you out into a Gengar because I know he's going to poison jab me. This is just obviously in there. So I go for Shadow Ball and I realize nothing on his team left can live a Shadow Ball for my Gengar. Gengar. So I think I actually won this battle. But I went out to, I went out to Ferrothorn just in case he, um, um, had, um, oh, he was Scarfed. But um, since I the poison didn't take it out, I had to go out to Gardevoir. I went to Gardevoir so I could um I could live a, um a hit from the Salakazam as he just thunderwaves me, and I could go for a Hyper Beam and take him out. Um, so this is the next one. So um this time I'm actually on the right side, so that's good. So I go out to Ferrothorn. Hi, I'm because I know I'm immune to the spore. As he just sits up Shell Smash, and I know he's gonna bet and pass them into another Pokemon. So I go for I carry Toxic on Explosion and Explosion on this Ferrothorn set, Leech Seed and um, Stealth Rocks, I believe, or something like that. And I know um, Leech Seed bet, it bet and passes Leech Seed as well, so I can just. I can also. So I can go for Power Whip. Just to deal some damage and can get some health back with Leech Seed. I know. He doesn't have much to hit me outside of superpower, and I should should move at least once one because I'm physically defensive. So the iron barbs takes me out. And I just go for gyro ball. Wait, oh no, I don't carry gyro ball. Don't carry toxic and explosion. I carry gyro ball and explosion. I think. So I take I take a flame for and a psy shock, and I go for dream punch and kill it. And. Then he goes up to Charizard, takes a ton of damage from the rocks, and he I go for the Stone Age, hoping I can live an Air Slash, but I couldn't. And I just go for Psy Shock and take out the Charizard. Um, and then he goes out to Mega Champ, and I go for the um Psy Shock against that. Somehow able to live it, don't know how. And he just goes for Ice Punch with Pure Power, um, and I don't know what his base attack is. Um, but anyway, um. Also the claws here, I go for Shadow Ball. And I can outspeed him and kill him with another Shadow Ball or a Sludge Wave and take him out. And he goes with Smeargle. I will go to Feral Floor and take to take the Spore. 
I guess the strategy is to bend past shell smashes into Pokemon. So I go for the um Leech C. So I go for this. I just spam Stealth Rocks because I don't really feel like hitting it with a Gyro Ball because it was higher HP than me. I think that's how it works at least. So I'm just gonna wait until the Leech Seed stuff. I want my. I'm just gonna have my Ferrothorn die and stuff. And I go into Gardevoir. And I just think I'll just go for the Hyper Beam and take him out. Actually, no, no. I switch out into Ch Chansey. He ends up just trying to set up. Which is kind of weird, because I don't think he has any attacking moves. But he ends up forfeiting. I guess I would have won anyway, because of Sleep Claws. Um, so, um, I, this is, um, this one isn't really a good bell, but I decided to show it just for this moment. I take a Brave Bird from a Talon Flame. That is, proves how beastly Conkeller is. Look at how much damage Drain Punch just does to a Steelix. <sighs> so you go to Gengar to... Just go for Shadow Ball and kill the Steelix. Goes out to Ferrothorn. And I believe I just. My plan was just to Leech Seed. Um, Le Leech Seed, go for t um, Toxic and then Explosion it. Well, this is the set with Toxic. Before I had Gyro Ball, and now it has Toxic. At least that's what happened. But he ends up forfeiting. Um. But anyway, this is a pretty fun battle. He ends up being on the, I end up being on the wrong side. I'm again for this battle. So I do go for the earthquake. I that does a lot of damage. And he goes switches out to Garchomp and I get a critical hit drain punch. That that's not ridiculous, isn't it? It almost Conkelder almost takes out a Diancie and kills a Garchomp. That is that is a lot of work for it to do. So I go for Sludge Wave with my Gengar and just take out the DNC. And he goes up to this thing. And I did some d damage calcs. And I can live in Air Slash. As long as he's not Specs, I should be fine. But he's not Specs um, because he had Speed Boost. He had used Protect. And he goes out to you and you're not Shiny as well. So that's weird. So I go for Hyper Voice just to deal some damage, and he goes for Hurricane. He confuses me, so I don't really want to stay into that. So I go out to Gengar. He goes for Taunt. Um, then I go for Thunderbolt and take it out. And he goes up to Ludicolo, and I go for Sludge Wave, and he just flows for Waterfall. He has a physical Ludicolo, and he has Swift Swim. So he goes for Swords Dance, as I go for Dragon Pulse. I was decided to go out to Chansey. A Pharaoh Thorn, so I can get some Iron Barbs and Rocky Helmet damage on him. And then the next turn, I can just go for the E. Um, e um, and he goes for the Drain Punch, thinking, oh, yeah. But Explosion. Dead. And now I go out to Guard. Since the rain is not up anymore, he does a Swift Swim. Um, no, it's not. Um, um, I can go for Hyper Beam and take it out. Let me review my sets. My third form was just Stealth Rocks, Leech Sea, Toxic Explosion. Gardevoir was Hyper Beam, Hyper Vo Oist, Psy Shock, and Thunderbolt. Chansey was just especially fun. Chansey with, um, I believe, Toxic Aromatherapy, like Soft Boiled and Seismic Toss. With an Eviolite, Conk Helder was just an Assault Vest set. Ice Punch, Stone Punch, Stone Edge, Drain Punch, and an Earthquake. Um... Latios, Dragon Pulse, Psy Shock, Defog, and, um, what else did I run on it? I forgot what I ran on I ran on it. Um, Gengar was just Sludge Wave, Thunderbolt, Shadow Ball, and Dazzling Gleam. So yeah, that was my team of, oh, um, of, oh, this is OU battles, actually, if you didn't realize that, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.